All right, folks, I'm Joe Duffy, CEO of OffshoreInsiders.com. If you're betting on your own in the NBA playoffs, say, hey, you know, more power to you. Keep the bookmakers in business for us. I've been doing this since 1988 publicly. Every single year, we've got some basic systems that win with NBA sides, NBA totals. They hold up year in, year out, 14 and 6 lately with your NBA playoff picks. I've got two NBA winners for this Friday, May the 13th, I've got two Major League Baseball led by a wise guy play. I've got two NHL winners. And for the few of you who say, look, release too many winners, don't worry. We've got wise guy plays each in Major League Baseball and the NBA if you just want to bet the wise guy plays. But you should be betting them all. Offshoreinsiders.com. All right. Free winner for tonight, and then I'm going to take a look at your NBA market report. I'm going to take a look at some Major League Baseball angles. Not necessarily in that order, but your free winner for tonight. I got Boston plus the one and a half against Milwaukee in the NBA. Of course, as we've documented, the so-called zigzag theory has gone completely in reverse in recent years, although it's barely above 500 in the history of our database. But we were telling you all along, even 10 years ago, when the zigzag had a positive number that there were specific bounce back situations in which it did great but we had all the exceptions to the rule in which momentum was more important and of course in recent years momentum has really superseded it yet yet not surprisingly our bounce back situations that won for years continue to hold up we do have a really nice bounce back situation tonight that says go with the team that is off of a loss is 401 319 and 9. Now, while favorites are generally good bets in the playoffs, not in this specific situation, this specific bounce back situation is even better when the team we're betting on is an underdog, especially if they are a smaller underdog. Also, the only computer system that we really can influence us, uh, I'm sorry, the computer simulation, computer simulation, which is different. Uh, one of our models does have Boston as a pretty good bet, covering about 55% of the time. That's not great, but it's good as cooperating data. So once again, Boston. Boston is your free winner for tonight. I'm going to take a look at the market report from Joe Duffy's picks at OffshoreInsiders.com in a moment. Major League Baseball angles. When you Darvish starts 0-8 on the road off of a loss, minus 12 units. Astros have gone under 10 and 0 versus an opponent with a winning percentage of 380 or less. With Logan Hill on the uh, bump, 17 and 1 against opponents that strand 6.9 or less runners per game, plus 16.6 units. And again, that makes us a lot of sense and dollars because, you know, we said that there are just certain things it's just tough to maintain. So when Webb is playing a team that hasn't wasted. A lot of runs that is tougher to maintain in teams like that are a lot of base runners. They don't strand a lot of base runners. This means they're a team that probably, if anything, has a downside. Teams that leave runners on base, has a, they actually have more of an upside. So again, this is the big difference in thinking like a sharp and thinking like a square. The three most magical words or the most magical three-word phrase for us pro, gambler, uh, pro gamblers is regression to the mean. That is plus 16.6 units in that 17 and 1 run. Baltimore is going under 11 and 1 to left handed starters. And Kyle Freeland's night starts have gone under 16 and 3 over the past couple years. Now the market report for tonight Boston and Milwaukee. Milwaukee is laying anywhere from one to one and a half, so shop around. The total, though, is 212 across the board. 62% of the bets on Milwaukee. However, 62% of the money is on Boston. The way a lot of people weigh that, they would say that makes Boston the sharp play. Again, when it comes to contrarian betting, we prefer to go against the number of bets because we're fading the small guy, the Joey Bag of Donuts. Again, the Joey, the guy who's betting $10 on a two-team parlay, he's really the guy that we want to fade, not necessarily the big money. But I have heard the theory, some say, as long as you're rooting for the same size of sports books, you're going to win long term. And that's where the money does come in. So those two theories would kind of clash with each other. But either way, 
even on the criterion that we weigh, it's not really a very strong contrarian play anyway. Not every bet is a contrarian play, and especially the way we've raised the bar, we only consider maybe about 3 to 4% of them to be significant. When it comes to the total, uh, only 52% of the bets is on the over. I say only because the public does, does generally like to bet overs. 83% of the money, though, is on the under. And again, the way a lot of people measure that, the under would be the sharp bet on the Boston-Milwaukee game. Again, based on some criterion people that I know who like to weigh this information more than I currently do. I used to weigh it more in previous years, but a lot of people would say there are two established sharp plays when you uh, when the money and the number of bets go head-to-head, -head, they believe you should bet with the money. All right, Golden State and Memphis. We have pretty much Golden State 8 across the board. Also, 218.5 is also across the board. 53% of bets and 51% of the money on the Golden State Warriors. And as far as the total is concerned, 53% of the bets are on the over, but 59% on the under. Not really that significant of a split there. Again, before ever placing a bet, make sure you visit offshoreinsiders.com. Follow us at Offshore Insider on Twitter uh, because uh, the character limitations, yeah, there is no S on the end of our Twitter handle. It's only at Offshore Insider, but the website itself is at offshoreinsiders.com.